I'm off to Nottingham, where they're nuts about curry. There's a staggering 18 Indian restaurants in one square mile of the city centre. Where better to eat the nation's favourite food? I love a good curry. Here in the heart of the Midlands, Nottingham, this place has more restaurants than any other city across Britain. So the chances of finding a good curry is quite high. The new kid on the block is the 110-seater Curry Lounge. Owner Raz, a former pharmaceutical sales manager, opened the restaurant six months ago. In the hope of becoming Nottingham's Curry King, he spent nearly half a million quid on building his very own Bollywood dream. We generally wanted to create something that had a bit of a wow factor that was, fuck me, look at this, it's wow. But Nottingham's not been wowed by the Curry Lounge. Raz's Bling Palace loses three grand a week and can't survive for long. I've put a lot of my own money into this business, but if we don't start hitting that eight, eight and a half thousand pound a week break even figure, um, we, we potentially might not see Christmas. I absolutely love Indian food, and this is the first time I've worked in an Indian restaurant in Britain, so I'm really excited. Raz is so proud of his Bollywood palace that he's prepared to bend the truth a little to get it noticed. National Awards, best Indian restaurant. Wow. Hold on a minute. Runner-up in 207. Bullshitting fucker. Hello. How are you? Very well, thank you. How are you? And um, first name, sorry? Raz. Raz. Good to see you. Any chance to turn that music down so I can hear you? Would you mind? Sorry. Excellent. Who designed it? Um, well, most of the stuff you see was ideas I'd picked up from various places. It looks fucking ghastly. <laughs> Where did he get his inspiration? Lap dancing clubs? How many screens have you got? We've got seven in total. You don't go to direction to watch television? No, but... What in the fuck are they? That's a water feature, Gordon. A water feature? <laughs> Holy mackerel. <laughs> After seeing what Raz has done to the decor, I hope his taste hasn't made it onto the menu. Hello, how are you? Are you the restaurant manager? No. no. I'm head waitress. Head waitress. How popular is that, create your own curry? Yeah, that's really popular with people. They get to create their own. Yeah. Almost like a sort of curry pick and mix. Yeah. Create your own curry? What a crazy idea. Oh, well, when in Rome, let's see if they can make this monstrosity. Well, let's what? go for a little bit of a uh, chicken korma uh, with prawns. Do you want it medium? Uh, no, I'm going to go for hot. Hot? Wow. And cooking my dodgy DIY curry is a man with 20 years' experience in Indian cuisine, executive chef Zahir Khan. This kitchen is designed by me, built by me, created by me, so it's my baby. If someone says, your baby is dirty, I'll kick it up. Working under him is a highly skilled brigade of chefs flown in from India. Congratulations on the best restaurant in Nottingham. <laughs> Runner-up. <laughs> yeah, nice small detail there. Marketing bollocks. <laughs> Marketing bollocks. We're not doing anything. And toward. And just when I thought I'd seen it all. That's Holy shit. <laughs> There's your the pole going. What? Chili cheese man. That's my what? Chili cheese man. Christ yeah. almighty. That There's looks a... like a large pair of knickers. What is that? <laughs> it's basically a non stand. At Christmas time, I can understand slightly pissed, but <laughs> fuck me, they don't come out like that all the time, do they? You can get three or four nine on there rather than using four plates. Great, isn't it? When you sat with your girlfriend, you don't want to talk to her. Say, sweetheart. Hello. Fuck off. Oh, no, not you. Yeah. <laughs> Tash, how are you? I'm fine. So, out. Sea bass at the curry lounge. Mm. Fuck. Dry. Tasteless. No salt, no seasoning. Nothing. Bloody hell. A terrible dish. And I didn't even design it myself. Now for my DIY chicken and prawn spicy korma. Very greasy. It's got a film of oil on top. Chicken's really dry. If every customer goes for a DIY curry, this restaurant must be serving up some real disasters. I don't know, you look at it now and it's like... It's almost on the verge of being pretentious. You know, and it's lost its authenticity because it's trying to be too smart for its own good. And then out comes the fucking swinging naan. <laughs> Kitchen's through here. Yes. Excellent. The chef's name Apparently, is... Apparently, a man who's worked in India's best hotels is responsible for this. It doesn't add up. 
Zach Khan. Yeah. Okay. This is Zach. Hi. Zach. Gordon. Hi. How are you? How are you? Hi. You are the cleanest chef I've ever seen in my entire life. Thank you. Immaculate. Thank you. Shouldn't he be at school, that one, no? <laughs> Look at it. Amazing. OK, thank fuck for those ears, otherwise the hat would fall off. <laughs> OK. And when I first arrived, I was sort of uh, confused. The minute yeah. I arrived, the deck all threw yeah. me. Yeah. And so did the food. The food was... The food was bland. If someone asks you, yes, korma, which is supposed to be mild and creamy and yes. sweetish, the guest yeah. insisting, no, I want it hot. Mm. So what, what <laughs> chef has to do? Put chilies. I felt there was no personality, nothing individual. It's very plain and very boring. Mm. The kind of food I could get anywhere. We get regular comments every yeah. night. Okay. How I'm, I'm, fresh I'm, I'm, and I'm not interested in the yeah. positives. Oh, I know. And my staff cool. in my restaurant mm. listen to negatives. Right. I'm not here for positives. So well, what I'm trying to say, I found my lunch experience to be bland. Right. And where that sits anywhere connected mm. to Indian authentic cuisine, it's game over. Mm. This business is on the verge of closing. We're short of customers and we're in the shit. Bingo. I'm in Nottingham at the 110-seater Curry Lounge. It's a big restaurant with even bigger problems and I've only got five days to sort it out. This is a first for me, turning around an Indian restaurant. Now, the basic principles are exactly the same, no matter what the style of cuisine is. But, daunting task, very excited, but I think it's going to be a fucking tough nut to crack. It's Friday night and the start of the weekend. The only time of the week when the curry lounge is busy. Owner Raz is also front of house manager, and he loves showing off to the punters. <laughs> How's that? Mild, medium. medium? Already the customers are running riot and creating their own curries. Thousands of years of Indian culture straight out the window. Remember Dave? He had a garlic, coconut and chilli naan. Mm. Yeah? And, uh, Is that on the menu? Garlic, coconut and chilli. No. Or did make them up? She's Dave, the up. architect. Yeah. She made them up. Yeah? And uh, uh, his lady is asking about the salmon. Is there cream in there? A little bit, yeah. She said, can you change it for yoghurt? Because you did last time. OK, fine. Yeah? So no one sticks to the menu here. They just order what they want. The menu's here, then. Well, have, have you seen the, have you seen the Are menu? you mad? You should be confident I... and happy with it. what you do is what's good enough for them. Do I look like all right? I'm a mad person, 100%. Is that your idea? No, of course. I will not take, I will not take such a drastic step. This is my boss idea. Finally, I get it. The pick and mix menu is a result of this former salesman trying to please everyone. Now, if you want lobster, but it happens to be a mild, but you like it hot, why the hell can't you have it hot? Yes, it pisses the staff off in the kitchen, but at the end of the day, if the customer wants it, they can have it as far as I'm concerned. With the pick and mix option, the customers can order over 100 variations of the dishes. It's a curry DIY disaster. Khan and his team are swamped with orders. He's losing it, and I'm not surprised. Yeah. Every check is coming with something bloody changed. Lamboon of four ways. Ridiculous, no? This ludicrous menu is slowing up service too. We've just been having a nice chat while we've been waiting for the food to arrive. We've been waiting 10 15 minutes. Yeah. Come on. For a little while. As orders flood in, plates build up on the pass, and where fresh food's concerned, that's a disaster. It's got a big skin on there now. This, that is fine. Um, here! Oh, fuck you, man. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 eight. Come on, come on, come on. If Raz thinks his DIY menu makes his restaurant stand out from the competition, he couldn't be more wrong. It tasted like it was more like from a supermarket rather than kind of coming out for a nice yeah. meal out in so comparison. Pretty average. Fairly average. It's the first time we've been. Yeah, would you come back? Probably not, no. As an Indian restaurant in yeah. Nottingham, yeah. is it average, above average, or is it average. in the... It's yeah. a bit old style and no substance for me. Great towels in the uh, ladies. Why do you treat your kitchen like a conveyor belt? It's like a, it's like a banqueting kitchen here. There were so many orders pending and I have to go in and out, in and out, in and out to take out the food. I think deep down inside, you could do much better. Which up? Love, care and just know, a little bit of passion. What are you thinking? Shit, basically. Yeah. Um, 
we need to sort this out. I know damn well we could all do yeah. damn sight better. Good night. Okay. Yep. Cheers, man. See good you in the morning, yes? No problem. Brian early, yes? Gentlemen, good night. Cheers, man. Damn. I haven't enjoyed it tonight. I haven't. It's the first time um, since I opened the restaurant. And I like her. So, I'll leave it there. <laughs> I'm going to go for a fag. See you <clears throat> This restaurant has two major issues. Firstly, the restaurant's all blinged up and they've got a menu to match it. It's fucking humongous and ghastly. If I've got any chance of turning this around, the first thing I have to attack seriously is the food. It's hideous. Unbelievable. Raz has built a flash restaurant and a tacky menu to match. But the way I see it, that's nothing to brag about. So this morning, I've got to get Raz to see the error of his ways. For me, the heartbeat of any restaurant, everyone comes back knocking on the door, I want to taste the food again. I don't feel that here. Mm. I think you've got a fucking glamorous 1980s fucking Indian restaurant that's serving pretty mediocre Indian mm. food. And if you're going to spend 600, 700, three quarters of a million pounds, whatever it is, mm. fuck me, what you've got to become is individual. You know, it's, it is a bit hard for me to sit here and go, fuck, I've got all that wrong. I mean, I've still got to get yeah. this right. Nothing wrong with being proud at all. Yeah. Providing you've got that level of fucking intelligence to fucking mm. rectify. Yeah. Okay. And we're going to start right this fucking minute. Okay. Yeah. Oh. I mean, literally. No, stay there. You don't all have right. to move. <laughs> I've got it already. Oh, great. Yeah. Oh, la la. <clears throat> That's one thing. Fuck me, have I been dying? There you go. That's for you. <laughs> you doing both windows or one window? No, that's not coming off. Water on there first and just look. It's tinted glass, so it'll scratch. See? But, <laughs> Gordon, you're not... Oh, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> I've not done it to hurt anybody. I didn't do it to piss any of the winners off. If you had runners-up in the same style, mm. I would still turn around and say, Raz, do yourself a favour, get that shit off the window. Mm. It looks fucking hideous. I'll oh. give you a hand to take it off, Gordon, but I just don't. That's very kind. If you can take the runners off, up. Gordon, I will take off. it off you, but I, I, what I, I am getting pissed off about, you actually... I'm glad you are. Yeah, you, I am. I'm fucking cool. over the moon. I like it when you get pissed off. It was meant to let customers know that we've just come runners up in two awards. OK, do they know now? Who? The customers. What's they do? So we can get rid of it, then. <laughs> OK, good. <laughs> If you start there with the little runners up, the small bits and back, you may need some glasses to get it off. Please don't scratch the window, it's smoke glass. <laughs> Sorry, runners up, coming off. Sorry, only runners up. We'll try it harder next year. Only runners up. Next year we're going to win. Lovely. Slow down, you can't see the sign! <laughs> oh, shit, he's gone. How many runners up? Sorry, he's gone now. He's gone. Lovely. Thank you. I bet that fucking hurt, didn't it, no? I'm actually enjoying it. Huh? Now I've cleaned those windows, I can turn my attention to the biggest problem of all, the food. Like most Indian restaurants, the sauce stocks that form the base of the curries are prepared in advance. Incredibly, all the 130 create your own curries are made up from just three stocks. No wonder they all taste the same. Oh dear, I've also found jars of curry paste and frozen samosas. The only freshly prepared food is the naan bread. What a waste of talented chefs. 12 seconds each naan bread. You're like a little Harry Potter there in the corner. <laughs> huh? Working your magic. The wizard of the arm. Well done, Harry. This isn't a restaurant kitchen, it's a food factory. Most of the time we cater in two hours, sometimes 100 cover, 120 cover. You have to give fast food. Quick, 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 quick. I've asked Khan to cook every dish on the menu. Holy mackerel. The amount of food there is extraordinary. Most of these dishes are made up from just a few sauces. There's no way on earth they can taste individual, and I'm going to prove it. Are you sure you don't do Botox? <laughs> no? Far too good looking, oh. right. Wrap that on. Uh, we're going to taste some food, and you're going to tell me what it is. OK, Tash? Here we are, my darling. First up, one of the most expensive dishes on the menu. 
king prawn cry? No. No. That's the lobster I had yesterday. <sighs> Tash. Let's see if the rest of the waiting staff can do any better. The nation's favourite, chicken tikka masala. One of the most popular dishes on the menu. What is it? Tikka masala. No. No. Oh dear. Mm. No. No. One last try. How about the one thing that shouldn't be anywhere near this restaurant? Tash. What is that? Chip. Chip. Good girl. Excellent. <laughs> What are we running here? Indian restaurant. Indian restaurant. Excellent. None of the staff could tell one dish from another. You can't be that mediocre when you're fighting for survival with 18 other restaurants. You're a generous man, and it shows to what you sat in front of. Mm. You can't play to everybody. We've, we've tried to give every customer what do we whatever he wants. Tin pineapple and curry just don't mix. It's not the average. No chef in the world will attempt to cook this. Mm. And your generous spirit is destroying the ambition of this restaurant. Raz's generous spirit is also destroying the ambition of his head waitress. It just looks bad that we don't know what's coming out from the kitchen. How can I be a head waitress when I don't even know what's on my menu? That's the upsetting thing about it. If the pick and mix menu has done this to his head waitress, what's it done to the man who has to cook it every night? Nottingham's got a growing Asian community and great markets selling exotic produce that you'd find on the streets of India. Khan, good morning. It's nice to see you here. Yeah, good to see you too. This is your local, yes? This is my local. This is where we get Local gain. market. Inspiration. All these shops are on the Curry Lounge doorstep, but Khan rarely visits them, choosing to order in his supplies instead. This part can be taken yeah, like out. A, like, like you a... can take it out, then just slice and toss it. Yeah. It's beautiful, tasty. See, so you seem to come alive in amongst all this. Our produce. Of, of course. Huh? Break this. There is hardly any seat. Yeah. It's great to see Khan excited about Indian food again. It's yeah. given me yeah. an idea. Slice, finally slice. You grew up in which region? Rajasthan. What was the first sort of big influence that your mother gave you in terms of food, taste? She used to make the korma, which was fantastic. Right. But not the korma, what we make here. No. Sweet ones. Let's pick up some ingredients today. Sure. Let's put that as a special this evening on Fine. the menu. Fine. And give it some authenticity from Absolute. your region. OK. Let's go and get the lamb. No compromise. Lovely. Thank you. Tonight's a big night. We're putting on a new dish you can't get in any run-of-the-mill curry house. But before we can hand out the menus, there's something I've been dying to do. Pull all these out. No more pick and mix. We're going back to simple, authentic, yeah, Indian cuisine. Yeah, so it's no crucial we tell the front of house team about the special yeah, so they okay. can push it. So, kitchen staff, why don't you explain what you're doing? Sure. Uh, we are making uh, the authentic uh, lamb korma today. What if a customer wants chicken jow fries? It's not on the menu. Yeah. Have you seen how much food is on there? Yeah. So, so we're going to sell something else. The chef has the most Raz doesn't seem happy, dish. but tonight I'm going to prove to him that Nottingham wants authentic dishes right. instead of dodgy DIY food. Let's get those cocktails done, yes? Right. Let's go. Take let's out go. the pick and mixes from the menus, please. Thanks, that one's gone. Spice, yes. give around. You, smile. Move. Green cardamom. Khan's special is a medium spice dish from Hyderabad. And unlike Razi's pick and mix, this curry will be made from scratch every day. The meat is slow cooked on the bone with spices and browned onions. And the bone in there as well. I quite like the regional aspect with the Thanks. bone inside. Absolutely. Yeah, Serving with the bone. It makes it look more authentic. Chili powder, turmeric and salt are added along with a garlic and ginger paste. Then left to cook gently for half an hour. Gorgeous. Uh, this is your lamb korma. Thank you. That for me, yeah, is perfect, yeah, for Thank here. You. you know that. Thank uh, you very much. It tastes delicious. Thank you. This dish will get everyone hot for more. Yeah, Fire away, sir. What would you like? Uh, I'm going to have the tandoori bar, please. Tandoori bar? Yes, please. But an hour into service, and not one person's ordered the lamb korma. What are Raz and his waiters up to? I've uh, been here before. Yeah. What have you ordered? Vegetable. Lovely. Sir? Karahi prawns. Lovely. Tell me. Uh, 
So no one's gone for the special? No. No, no, no one's We didn't actually hear about yeah, it. We don't we know about any special. special. We you didn't hear about the special. Yeah, we weren't told about any special, so. It'd be nice to explain the special. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Excuse me two seconds, I was quickly picking the bollocks. Yeah. <laughs> Going back to the tournament, explaining our special. Don't want to be working on all day. Yes? Oh dear. If the Brunner House team aren't behind the special, then it's down to just one man, Raz. Anyone would think he's resisting the changes to tonight's menu. I'm getting slightly agitated that it's all a little bit too casual. So I just need some drive behind it. Okay. Got to drive it. Okay. Not from the back seat, but from the front seat, yes? No problem. How are you doing, guys? You all right? Did you not go for the special? What was the special? <laughs> I'm not laughing, but if Raz won't push it, I know a man who will. Yeah. You look great. You look great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very great. Uh, it's Nottingham, not Bollywood. Right, fantastic. So, when you cook the bone long hours, it gives its own taste anyway. So the actual taste comes out of the meat. Try my favorite. I'll try it. And you'll be safe. And me too. <laughs> if I it's great to see Khan's passion for the dish that he created. He's like a different chef. How about yourself? Um, like, yeah. Let's go. At last, Khan's mum's lamb starts to sell, but no thanks to Raz. Now you see the orders coming. Everyone said the lamb was fantastic. Thank you. You said lamb was fantastic? Yeah. Good. Yeah. That's great news. So they didn't complain, it wasn't sweet enough? No, really. Because complain. that's what they want here in Nottingham. I had lamb korma, which is medium and very, very tasty. It was very nice. Really enjoyed it. I never realised there were so many varieties of korma. But yeah, wonderful. That is really good news. We've already sold out of Khan's lamb korma. Now, that means they want that really nice, authentic style of cooking, as opposed to that sweet mush. But what's pissed me off more than anything is Raz is refusing to push the authentic special and still thinks they come here for the fucking pick and mix, which is bollocks. Without a doubt, the star of tonight's show is Khan. You're destined for Bollywood, you aren't you? You're too good looking to be a chef. No, no. You look like some sort of Bollywood superstar. Uh, no, come on. Seriously. You are pulling my leg. From a porn movie. Oh, shit. Fucking <laughs> 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 hell. I knew, I knew he is taking me somewhere, man. I missed that chance. Last night, I realised the curry lounge is split down the middle. Kitchen versus front of house. Before I do any more work on the menu, I've got to get them all playing for the same team. Crucial. Bit of team bonding. When was the last time you got your team out together? I haven't. My guys meet on average once a month, whether it's go-karting, water polo. We haven't been a team yet. So we're now going to play the locals at their own game, <laughs> and we're going to whip their ass. How are you, buddy? Are you well? I've arranged Good for the curry you. lounge to play the local seat cricket team, and I've heard their batting average is high. Raz is opening the batting, with a difference. It's time the kitchen bowled him a few bouncers. Right, Raz. Gordon. <laughs> OK. <laughs> this, yeah, is what they call handicap, yeah? Uh, I'm going to do to you, OK, what you've been doing to your staff. Right. And so I want you to experience what they've been experiencing, All yeah, right. since they've been working with you. Right, so, right. one-handed. This time, <laughs> bowl. The fastest bowl you've ever done. <laughs> Move. <laughs> oh, 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 shit. Oh, <laughs> Damn. Sorry, that's butter fingers. Sorry. <laughs> Good. <laughs> still here. <laughs> I can't believe it. He still managed to hit the fucking ball. <laughs> shit. Huh? What? Uh, <laughs> That'll be a fall then. <laughs> great determination, yeah? Thank you very much. Great batting and great innings. Why aren't you like that in the fucking restaurant? I wasn't going to get out no matter what. I mean, it's... We can't lose. And it's, we can't lose. It's very competitive. And I think the last six balls I've, I've just shown to myself that what I'm trying to do, I'm determined to do it and I'm not going to fail. And I think that's what's been missing in me for the last two or three months. So I'm glad for that. One handed or not. It's the first time we've all been out yeah. together with the kitchen service staff. So, yeah, it's good. <laughs> Let's go for it. 
Harry, look at that big white screen down there. Think of one of your naan breads. Yeah. Let's go. Hit it. Hit it! Whoa. Oh, chef! One over. Come on. Well, yeah. well played, guys. Well played. Fantastic effort. Thank you. The cricket was such a success, I thought we'd turned a corner. But this morning, I found out Raz has called a meeting and only invited the front of house staff. When is this guy ever going to learn? He's been an idiot, and I won't let him get away with this. Look at the sneaky little fuckers. What did I say? The building. So now they're holding a meeting on their fucking own. Let's go and... Yeah, pummel him. Yeah. I'd been at the Curry Lounge in Nottingham for three days, and I thought we were making progress. But after a great day of team bonding, Raz has gone behind my back. Let's go and... Yeah, pummel him. Yeah. Hi, Egon. Hi, yeah, hello. Hi. Yeah, excuse Hi. me. Yeah. Hello, excuse you me. You get crushing. Huh? Hold on, hold on, hold on a minute. Let's, let, you're having a meeting, right? Yeah. Right. 24 hours ago, we had a team building exercise, yeah. kitchen and dining room, yeah. which was fantastic. Yeah. 24 hours later, you're having a meeting on your own. We wanted to look at the front of house situation, what we were going to do, and tomorrow morning, we want to sit down with everybody to go through what we want to do. Trust me, my team don't meet without the kitchen. The kitchen don't meet without the restaurant, because yeah. they're one. We've got to keep it together. Yeah. That's right. Communications. Mm. And communication, I think nothing can't be better than when we all sit together. Mm. Check out. Exactly. I may come out the better idea than you there. Mm. Should be one family. We should big bring our legs. Small Tape our legs up together tomorrow, yes? <laughs> huh? If we can do service it. with that, yes? <laughs> that there looks like something out of the pharmaceutical. It's just a factory it's there. A mind Look. Dumb. And what's the other big circle? Professional. I haven't got to that yet. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's so frustrating. Because on the back of the cricket, bonding session, I thought he'd understood the importance of keeping your team together. And if he hasn't understood that now, he's never going to get the fucking message. I really put Razzie's back up by gate crashing the meeting, but I want to crack on and create a new menu of regional dishes. Time for a spot of tiffin. Tiffins are Indian lunchboxes, and 160,000 of them are delivered every day to office workers all over Mumbai. We're going to do the same here in Nottingham. The secret of this, yeah, is having a little bit of sort of authenticity. Classic tiffin box, yeah. we'll fill it up, vegetable, rice, stunning chicken curry, a nice little bit of naan bread, a fiver each, yeah? If we get six companies on board, mm. all ordering between 30 to 50 lunches a day, authentic, yeah. delicious curry, I swear to God, in two to three months' time, we could be doing 250 to 300 lunch a day. OK? Fine. Yeah? Done. Let's go. The tiffins oh. will contain a light and tasty authentic right. chicken curry. Get some colour on the onions, yes? It's made by frying chopped onions in whole spices. Are we using the thigh, the chicken thigh, yes? Then adding chicken with chilli, nice. cumin and turmeric, and lots of fresh coriander. If we want to get busy Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday for dinner, what a way of getting them into the restaurant by offering them a great lunch. I agree with you. Yeah? I absolutely agree. To go with the chicken, there's coconut-infused vegetables and an aromatic basmati rice, all topped off with a plain naan. Yeah, this is ready. Here we go. Yes. Can we come in the place? The on. first one. I'll yeah. work with you. Fucking right, yeah. That's a great idea. Why are you walking around with such a filthy work top on? Um, filthy, because I've been in your kitchen cooking. It looks cooking. good effect, Ralph. Like, it's <laughs> Thank cooking. you. Thank it looks you. good effect. Second time yeah. it's stuck up for me. I splashed it on myself this morning when I was brushing my teeth. Yeah. Hello, everybody. You're all right. <laughs> um, just a quick insight. Uh, we've got a really exciting lunch. Now, the average person here earns between 80 and 100 grand a year. We're charging... <laughs> we're charging five pound. Who would like one? Yeah, I've got one over there. One, two, on, three, four. Feet. OK, Harry, work your magic. It is absolutely delicious. Change. Uh, any more? Five <laughs> minutes. <laughs> you want change for that? Fantastic. Within five minutes, they've all gone. How can we sell out so quickly? Huh? 40 tiffin boxes at a fiver each. That's 200 quid. That should cheer up Raz. Who, who hasn't got a box? Well, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell. 12 more, please. Really nice. Yes. Yeah. 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 
just damn it, we've got to tell them that we're runners-up. I'll go tell them. Sorry, yeah. they probably know Get anyway. Get out of here. Here we go. They probably know. <laughs> Tomorrow night, we're relaunching the Curry Lounge with an authentic regional menu. To help me, I'm calling in a mate from London. Alfred Prasad is the executive chef at Tamarin, my favourite Indian restaurant. At 29, he was the youngest Indian chef to win a coveted Michelin star. If you want good Indian regional cookery, he's the man. This man arrived this morning. Uh, I've been to this restaurant umpteen times. Um, it has a Michelin star. And he's here to work closely with me on stripping this back, All right. yes, to regional. Sure. Yeah. That no faffing around. No pick and mix. Right, you look more nervous now. What's the matter? Yeah, I'm excited. This no, is no, great. This is a bit of a surprise. Love that. Yeah. Nice surprise. Oh, yeah, right. Yes. Are you happy now? Right. You weren't very happy yesterday when I came in. Now, we, I've got one of you in here now. Look at him. Sure. This is you 10 years ago. Absolutely. In fact, you look the same, except he's got no hair. I know. Since I've been here, you're turning me grey. I never had this before. Yeah. With Alfred's help, tonight we'll give the people of Nottingham a menu that's tasty, authentic and truly unique. I think we get away with losing half of the junk. Conveniently half. Yeah. Starter-wise, eight. I would eight, nine. Nine. Yeah, main course. Between 10 and 12, I think. Mm -hmm. The new dishes draw on the regional cooking skills of the chefs in the kitchen. The peshwari shampan, mutton chops marinated in papaya and cream, then grilled in the tandoor, are from the north of Pakistan. Whilst these grilled lamb kebabs from Hyderabad in Andhra Pradesh, and my favourite, murg mukmi from Punjab, spicy chicken cooked in cream tomatoes with ginger and fenugreek leaves. Raz, Gordon, here's a little touch of. Merk. My favourite, yes. Absolutely delicious. Why are you shaking it around like that? It's, just, no, it's not a fucking frisbee. It's just a bit, it's a bit of oil in there. It's a bit of oil in there. Hello. Nice. Tender. The new menu is made up from dishes from northern regions of India and Pakistan, and with no main courses over £10.50, we're now highly competitive. Any starters here that you think is not suitable for Nottingham? At the moment, no. No. Definitely not. It has that authenticity? Yeah, yeah. But you see it in front of me, you think, know, why don't we do this in the first place? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Khan, are you happy with the starters? Sure. Yeah, anything to say? To add? No? This is about yeah. getting out of a mediocre position mm -hmm. and putting us in something slightly unique. Yeah. Yes? Trust me. Yes? I do. Quality. There's one last thing that has to come off the menu. Who went out and saw this idea in a restaurant and thought, fuck me, this is amazing. Nice. We're going to stand out. Most of the restaurants up in the north have them. Most of the restaurants up north have them. Yeah. Yeah. That's a lie. We'll be serving naan bread yeah, in a basket. OK? Yeah. Let's have a little taste, get familiar with it, and yeah. bounce ideas round. OK? Thank you, boys. Thank you. That's nice. That's beautiful. Is it? Mm. Mm. There's none of that dark brown stodge consistency. It's bright, vibrant, and we managed to make it sexy. There were so many dishes, I was going to say, Where's the jail phrasing? Where's this? Where's that? Yep. I don't give a shit. This is what they're getting. Yeah. At last, Raz has finally got the message. But now it's the head chef's turn to be unhappy. The menu is not complete, mm -hmm. as far as I'm concerned. So we are telling on uh, that TV, the regionality, rice thani, that yep. there's nothing rice thani in that. We can't have every region on there. So this I'm is a really, base. I think I have got right to put my overall opinion here. Of course but you that's have. That's what I was doing. I put my opinion, we should not say which is not there. He is a very senior chef. He is from the same company from I am. I'm just clicked. What's happening? You're jealous because he's a lot younger than you. No, 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 no. That's what it is. <laughs> I'm not. Possibly. Uh, uh, that, that, I thank think you. so. That's what it is. <laughs> I Look think at so. me. Yes or no? Uh, no, no, no. I think that is a factor, Gordon. <laughs> I can I, feel I, the I tension say, in the air. I say my, my Sorry. opinion. Sorry. And, and also, this hasn't just been put together in three or four days. Mm. I'm not fucking around with anyone. Mm. This is I'll serious. This is serious. So I'd like you to show a little bit of support. This is just a starting point. I know. Thank you. Of going forward. We can add huh? stuff, we can yeah. change stuff. Yeah, okay. It's a starting no. point. Hold on a minute. He's not, right. this, not, it wasn't dead not... centre there. It was, it was one minute past 12. I want to put it at 12. I, mean, I, I know anyway. the chefs are <laughs> protective about their food and their menus. <laughs> Come on. No, no, but there's one, two, three, four out of place. <laughs> then it's fine. Huh? Let's get cracking, guys, yes? <laughs> Holy mackerel. Thank you, Mr. Thank Khan. You, thank you. I've got a surprise to get Khan back on board. 
Hey, uh, gentlemen, come over quickly. I want to introduce you to somebody. Yes? This is Raz. Hi, Raz. How are you? Come on. How Let's go. You remind me of one of my wives, actually. One of my wives? <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? These girls are from one of the top dance studios, Bollywood dance studios, yeah, in the Midlands. That's so they're here. It. They're going to have a little practice first, and then we're going to take it out on the streets, yeah? <laughs> we're going to announce to Nottingham. <laughs> and I mean announce to Nottingham, yeah? Tonight, yeah, <laughs> is our festive night. Tonight is the launch. With an hour till opening, the kitchen's busy preparing the new menu. Whilst we hit the streets to let Nottingham know that Curry Lounge's new menu is authentic, delicious and available tonight. Come on, Mr Khan. Your restaurant needs you. Come on, Mr Khan. Shake your booty. Are you going to join in? Yeah. Excellent. OK. Come and experience this amazing, fabulous, authentic, regional cookery. We're open. I've turned down the nightclub light, turned off the Bollywood blink, and now the kitchen is controlling the menu, not the customers. Here goes a brand new menu this evening, and the specials this evening are the whole menu. The kitchen's buzzing, and the food looks absolutely delicious. It's nice to see you cooking, Mr. Carner. Put your heart back into it, yeah? Good. Out front, Raz and the waiters have ditched their old pick and mix ways. Without the, without the coriander, though? Yeah, they won't be able to do it because no they've marinated it. It's got coriander inside it. That's okay. Yeah. Can't have it. Yeah? Can't have it. No. As it is. I'm not messing about, no. It'll be interesting to see how this pans out now over the next 45 minutes. These first six or seven tables have to come out quickly, otherwise, in half an hour's time, we're going to be fucking swamped. Big time. I've invited a special guest, Humayun Hussein, editor of the Tandoori magazine and a man who knows his curries. If anyone can judge the authenticity of the regional dishes, it's him. Right. Well, he's hooking that down, isn't he? Exactly. Like it's good. Yeah. Fuck me if he eats any more, he's going to burst. <laughs> Radically changing the menu in any restaurant is always risky. But if the curry lounge is to stand out from his competition, there's no alternative. But will Nottingham go for it? Uh, this is a massive improvement. Really good home cooking. We like it. I mean, tonight it's beautiful, but I have to, I have to admit, when we came before, it was, it was a bit oily, a bit greasy. Um, Helen didn't need to put any lip gloss on. I mean, it just, it just came free with the meal. Uh, but not good, but it's a vast improvement. It's really good. Really enjoying it tonight. Fantastic. The diners have gone for the new regional dishes and the dancing's paid come off. In, in. The restaurant's rammed. But I've spotted a problem at the VIP's table. Table 21, I haven't had their main course yet. I've just, I've just literally gone and did and chased it, so I don't know what's going on. So. What do they say? I'm going there now. Chef? What's the time of that check, please? 21. Quarter to eight. It's an hour Half ago. An hour. I know. All the other ones go. You tell them to slow down then. Now another table's kept waiting. Did you order a starter? I did, yes. What did you order? Take a thing, second one down. Hold on, I've got two lines. Oh no, but they'll be waiting. It's table 11. Don't keep them waiting. We can't afford to mess up tonight of all nights. There's no excuse. But now, for the moment of truth. What does our special guest think? I'm going to take uh, gentleman through to see Mr. Khan no, in the kitchen, no, yes? Mr. Khan, I'd like to introduce you. If you mind, Hello. Hi, hi, hi. Gentleman from the Tandoori. Sir, gentleman, How was the main course? Good to see you. 
main course, uh, our main course was very good. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, what did you have? I, well, the okay, we had the lamb shank, we had the, I, what, is it the dam ki moruk, I think, the, the chicken? Yeah. And I tell you, it was one of the best pindis I've tasted in, uh, in recent years. Fantastic. Thank you. Little bit of issue with the, with the chicken. Tough, dry, sauce, very bland. Okay. Uh, breads, although they arrive late, as did our main courses anyway, were just fine. First night within your menu. First night, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It it but listen, no, thank you. You're on a, on a good run, you know, and it's a simplified menu, so it works. We've pulled it off by the skin of our teeth. Raz has now got a curry house that could beat his many competitors hands down. Total figures tonight, £3,339. Three and a half grand. I'm sorry, but you only need to do that three nights a week, and you're yeah. on ten thousand pounds. I yeah. break even. Yeah, I can't believe that. <laughs> it's fucking good. And a new menu. We was expecting people to ask. Yep. For this and this. Yep. And they have asked. Yep. But it's been very easy. Yep. To say no. And now I'm sitting here, looking around me, people enjoying the food, the buzz, three and a half grand in the till. It's given me even more confidence to good. make sure that. This works. Good. So. Good. I'm feeling slightly drunk sat watching you behind that fucking waterfall now. <laughs> I feel like I've just sunk into oblivion. <laughs> Fuck me, I'm feeling sick. I have to go. Um, okay. okay. That was fantastic. 150 covers. That was a tall order on a brand new menu. So I really hope that Khan continues to fight that passion and really ignite himself and get cooking and stay regional. And Raz needs to run it, control it, and don't slip back to his old pharmaceutical salesman's way and stay off that pick and mix because that is a success. Taxi. I'm back in Nottingham. It's a month since I left owner Raz with a new menu and a packed restaurant. The burning question is, has Khan embraced that new menu? And I hope that Raz hasn't slipped back to his old pick and mix ways where he wants everything and anything on the menu. So far, it's looking good. Those runner-up stickers haven't made it back on the windows. Hi. Mr. Khan. Hi, how are you? Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. Looking as slick and cool as ever. I'm yes? Hi, man. How are you, sir? Nice, nice to see you, see you again. Likewise, good to see you good too. To see you. Business, how's it been? Good. Um, last couple of weeks we've uh, broken even for two weeks running. Oh, really? Fantastic. That's yeah. great news. Yeah, it's brilliant. I think the second day we had a chat, we've been in a couple of times, we wanted chicken um, masala with prawns in it. I'm sorry, I'm not doing it. And oh. he got quite bulky about it. Like, well, we're not doing it. But why don't you try the fish dish? Yeah. He tried it, and in the comic guys, he goes, it's the best fish dish he's ever had. Mm. Good. And he's been back since. Okay, good. Customers feedback from the new menu? Uh, people like it, especially the lamb korma. Mm -hmm. That's been a bit of a hit. And are you tasting the new dishes? Yeah. 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 So there's no need to chew gum then? It's a um, cardamom. Oh, it's a cardamom seed. Yeah. Nice. How cool is that? Yeah. Authentic. Authentic, I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> Great news. The curry lounge is finally breaking even. And after only four weeks with my new menu, that's proof that Nottingham wants this style of Indian cookery. Tonight, there's such a crush of diners, I'm having trouble getting a table. Time for a spot of tiffin, then. So, thank you. Lovely. Mm. Very good. That's delicious. Absolutely delicious. Tastes great. No wonder this place is packed. If Raz keeps his cool and sticks to his guns, next year, the Curry Lounge won't be runner-up but winner of Nottingham's Restaurant of the Year. But trust Raz, there's one bit of ridiculous bling he couldn't resist bringing back. What are the swinging bread curtains? Stop, stop, stop. What are they doing back? The swinging bread curtains are back. Fucking unbelievable. Where is he? Where is he? Hey, Pinky, Pinky. Everything was going swimmingly beautiful, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, brilliantly. Yeah. Feedback on the food, yeah? What are the banks doing back on the fucking antlers? What are they're, they doing? They're family now. We put them on a stand because they're too big for the basket. And if we put two baskets, that would be split between three or four people. Come with me. <laughs> Can I serve these customers first? Uh, I know it provides you. Oh, dear. Fucking hell, you will not learn, will you? Hold that over for me, please. Mr. Khan. Hello. Mr. Khan. Sir. Say goodbye. 
we have customers in Ashton. Good, you tell those customers when they don't see the antlers with a yeah. swinging nan to give me a call, okay? So now you're going to tell me that your business is going to go bust no, without your antlers. No, it's not. You, yeah, are coming with me down the road. You mean you're putting them in? No, I'm not putting them in at all. We can do. I'm going to show you. Well, get out of the fucking way, I'll show you. <laughs> Five minutes. Let's put some money in the till. Go on, mate. Sorry. I'll get you a new one, OK? <laughs> a fresh naan bread, OK? Tash, can you order a new naan bread, please, on table seven? Right. Try to stay nice and calm throughout this moment, cos we're on the way to a burial. <laughs> Any final wishes? Oh, curtains are up. Where's the vicar? Here we go. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, you can take that one. Uh, that'll feed the rats later. That, yeah, thank you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Have I waited for this moment? Ashes to ashes. <laughs> dust to dust. Yes. <laughs> Don't fuck you now. <laughs> Done? OK. Done. What's the price per kilo now? About 60 pence a kilo. 60 pence a kilo. <laughs> that much? <laughs> Come on, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. Come on. You'll be fine. <laughs> now, you definitely won't be fucking using them again. Ever again. Hey. This reminds me of the cricket game. Let's get back to a fully booked restaurant. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Thanks, guys. You got the key? No. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs>